Candleton bowling. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Leary, again filling in to Don Gillis. Don, if you don't know, is resting up after a short minor illness, and he should be back with us again for the live show on August 23rd. All right, you know what we're shooting for? $700 goes to the winner here, $300 goes to the loser. Three strings, total pinfall determines the champion. Also, the winner of each string will pick up an extra $50 in bonus money. Three marks in a row is worth $50 in bonus money. Three strikes in a row worth an extra thousand. And our marksman of the day, the person that picks up the most strikes or spares over the course of the three strings, will also pick up a $50 gift certificate from True Value Hardware Stores. And we also have two beautiful trophies from the Ace Trophy Company of Boston. So that's what we're shooting for. Let's meet the bowlers now. Peter, Tom. Peter? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, Peter Flynn, uh, you guys, I don't think, have ever been on against each other on this show, even though you've been on a lot, huh? That's true. Okay, is it time to knock him off? I hope so. You were, watching, hope you were so. watching last week when he was supposed to have the diamond for a spare, and he didn't quite get it. Magically, those pins just started falling over, so he's got magic on his side. Yeah, oh, that's trouble. All right, did you bring your lucky charm this week? I hope so. Yeah. I hope it's not as close. No, I, it should be a good match. Thank we you. bowled a lot, and... <laughs> He said something about blowing you away, know, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure if that's true. All right, you guys go at it in uh, just a minute, and we'll be back with hey, Peter bowling? Flynn. Our challenger will get it started for us. Peter from Lawrence comes in here with a 127 average. And that's a pretty good start, huh? Peter has a high single of 204 and a high triple of 480. What he's looking for today is a triple of 420 or more to get him in the True Value Championship. All right, $20,000 show, 10000 to the top. Winner is set for August 23rd, and you'll see it live on Channel 5, beginning at noontime. Of course, that's August 23rd. I don't want you to get nervous and think that you missed it. All right, Peter Flynn sits down after throwing 29 up on the board in the first couple of boxes. Of course, you'll also be able to see the True Value Championship on Channel 40 out in Springfield. On the spare. Tom adds eight. Tom really couldn't put a good string together last week. A string of marks, that is. He never got more than two in a row, but he starts off with two in a row here in the opening string. In Peter Flynn and Tom Olster, we have before us a couple of multiple winners of the Massachusetts All Events Championship. And surprisingly, as I mentioned, even though Peter's been on our show, this might be, I think, his 18th appearance, and Tom is making his 36th appearance that they've never before faced each other.
Nice 10. So Peters at 48 through four. That's on the spare. So even though Tommy didn't pick up any bonus money for consecutive marks last week, he does here. Three in a row to open it up. Forty-seven plus a bonus ball through three. Tommy will be hard pressed to make it four in a row. A nine. Tom Olster's off and running. After the first four, Tom Olster, our defending champion, looking for four straight wins, is at 60, and our challenger. Peter Flynn of Lawrence at 48. All right, here we go. Peter Flynn steps up in the fifth now, finding himself down by a dozen. <laughs> He's ready to cut into that lead. Strike in the fifth. Double no. The kingpin stays. Peter works for the A.W. Chesterton Company. Bulls out of Colonial Lanes and South Weymouth and Granada Lanes. And Malden gets the spare on top of the strike. Tom through five is at 70 plus. Mosta is at 83 through 6. Peter Flynn at 78 plus. Plus 10. Strike on the spare. And we've just given away some more bonus money. Three marks in a row for Peter Flynn. Each bowler now with 50 in bonus money. So Peter now has a five pin lead. Peter will try to sweep the right side with that wood, and he does, but the seven pin remains. Through seven, Peter is at 107. And that'll be a nine. So through eight, he's at 116.
10. And 93 through 7. So our challenger, Peter Flynn, has a 14 pin lead. a spare. So Peter steps up for the ninth and tenth. Nurse nursing a pretty good sized lead at this point. Seven box and a nine. Peter was last with us about a year and a half ago. He was a two time winner and then finally was knocked off by Craig Holbrook. Well, it gets a little break there. Bear in the tenth, which Peter at 133 plus. And eight on top of that. So a good, strong opening string for our challenger, Peter Flynn of 141. So he is on the right pace to slipping into the True Value Championship. Needs to get 421 to knock off Lenny Nelly. Tom with seven on a spare. 110 through eight. Nineteen through nine, down by four and facing a big tenth frame by Peter Flynn. Seven box. So Tom Olsta, after a fast start, remember he started spare, spare, spare here in the opening string. He finishes a little slowly with a 126. So our challenger, Peter Flynn, with that fine 141, moves on to the second string with a 15 pin lead. We'll be back with string. All right, Tom Olsta will start us off in string number two. Tom down by 15. Stewart's going to give that a good look. And it's still moving.
Tom here for the fourth straight week. Remember how he opened up with a 483 in his first week to knock off Ray McGurk. In fact, that was a win of 178 pins. That was the spread. No embarrassment for Ray McGurk, of course. He's in the true value running right now with a 430. There it goes. strike in the first same way he started in the first string with a strike So he adds just six to the strike. And he takes an eight in the second box. Peter, nonetheless, is still adding to his lead. I'm going to stick around after our three strings are over, our high low jackpot is up to $350. Our home viewer jackpot is back down to 50 as it was knocked off last week for $200. Again, the idea is to try to guess the total pinfall of our two bowlers within 10 pins either side, either 10 pins high or 10 pins low. Now, we throw out all the cards after we have a winner. So now's the time to send in your card if you'd like to participate. Again, it must be on a postcard. One card per person per day is allowed. To win, you have to guess the total pinfalls. So put your name and address on a postcard and pick a number of pins that you think our bowlers will combine for and send it off to Candlepin Bowling, WCBB-TV, Needham Mass, 02192. As Tom Olsta spares in the fourth. And again, even if you don't guess that the correct pinfall, just by having your card drawn, we have a whole range of wonderful prizes for you. So it's worth the effort. Peter Flynn with his second strike of this string. Remember, Peter also had three strikes in the opening string. If only he could put them together. Remember, three strikes in a row is worth a thousand dollars in bonus money. Well, he gets to spare on top of the strike anyway. So we have matching marks up on the board through four now in the second string. Our challenger, Peter Flynn, is at 54, plus a bonus ball, and our defending champion, Tom Olsta, who found himself down by 15 after the opening string, is down a little bit more now. He's at 45, plus a bonus ball. Tom Olsta now steps up in the fifth. He's working on a mark. <laughs> Takes care of the four horsemen, but the seven pin stays up there it goes a 10 and Tom is at 60 through 5 
it was halfway down the alley when Tom just turned around. He knew that was too full. And so was that one. Well, getting out of that with an eight is pretty good work. 68 through six. Peter Flynn now is working on a spare. He's got two marks in a row. One more would be worth another $50 in bonus money. Peter and Tom are both at 68, but Peter's got an extra box to work with here. Will it stop? And where? So Peter Flynn, our challenger, has a nine pin lead in this string. Overall, that's a 24 pin lead. Tom Olsen needs to start marking. There's one. Spare in the seventh. Again, Tom is the leading qualifier for the True Value $20,000 championship coming up on the 23rd. Tom with a 483. Prince Spitzig Jr. is next at 447. Danny Murphy at 438. Ray McGurk at 430. And Lenny Nally at 420. Peter Surratt is the alternate right now at 414. Peter Flynn is trying to squeeze into that bunch. He opened with a strong 141, and after opening, opening here with 60 through 4, he slacked off a little bit. Again, mark it down August 23rd live at 12 o'clock. You'll see it here on Channel 5 and on Channel 40 in Springfield. Better yet, why don't you join us here at Fairway Sports World? Tom Ulster, of course, the 1985 True Value champion, knocking off Danny Murphy. but Peter wants a little bit more than that. So Tom has cut into the lead a little bit. The overall spread now is 20 pins. Note 
two through nine. Tom could use a mark. He's got the three and seven down there. Nope, so he's got his work cut out for him in the third string. Two thirty seven for the two strings. Tom was able to get away with a three sixty nine a couple of weeks ago. You'll need more than that, though. Unless Peter Flynn just falls apart in the third. Peter's at 107, so no change. It's still a 20-pin spread as Peter moves into the 10th. Six. So after a rip roaring 141 start, Peter slows down a little bit, and you can tell as he takes a seat that he's not too pleased about it. Still, he's got a pretty decent lead here of 17 pins. Take a look at the board for Peter Flynn in the second string, a 113 for Tom Olsta, a 111. So Peter now is at 254, Tom at 237. Will Peter Flynn hold up in the third now? He's carrying with him a 17 pin lead. And for the first time today, he doesn't open up a string with a strike. He did that in the first and the second. And he doesn't open with a spare either. As Peter now has gone seven straight boxes without a mark. Now, Bolsa, though, has been unable to take advantage during that whole stretch. Peter has been matched only by one mark by Tom. Well, at least Peter has a little bit better spare lead facing him than has been the case. Still no mark. Remind you, by the way, that applications for the WCBC Pro Tour are now available. Here are the requirements. Ladies must have an average of 102 or better, and the men, 112 or more. You know, there are six tournaments on the tour, and you're shooting for over $8,500 in each tournament in prize money. More information, just write to WCBC P.O. Box 545, Webster, Massachusetts, 01570. That's WCBC P.O. Box 545, Webster, Mass, 01570, if you want more information on the WCBC Pro Tour. Tom Oster. With the spare to start us off here in the third. Two quick marks here, and Tom will be right back in it. Lee 
lead now has been chopped to just seven pins. nine so Tom anyway cuts the lead in half seven pins overall Peter Flynn trying to get out of this rut of his coming up next week Tony Leo from Lynn will be the challenger Remember, right after this string, our bullers will take their respective shots at our high-low jackpot, which is now up to $350. And our home viewer jackpot is down to 50 but of course, we have lots of surprises in addition to cash. So stick around for that. Appears this week our combined totals for three strings will be a little on the low side. So that's ten straight boxes without a mark now. Good out, he gets eight after that. Gives up a couple of pins. So the lead is back up to nine now. But again, Tom's got a great opportunity there because he faces an open box. All right. Maybe he's got it going now. A strike in the fourth. So let's see if Peter can answer the challenge. In his last 10, he's got a 91 total. Contrast that with a 141 he had in the first 10 boxes. And you can see the big change. Six through five. There it goes. So we'll see whether that strike comes in just just in time to head off a rush by Tom Olster here. Tom working on a strike. So nine on the strike. And as a result, we're separated by Nothing. The lead now is one pin in the 
favor of Peter Flynn. Peter with that strike sitting up there. He is in good shape to add to the lead. Tom at 70. Peter is at 56 plus two. <laughs> and that's just how many he adds in the first bonus ball, just two. the strike 65 so Peter's lead is back up to a dozen so once again Tom Olsen is put into the position of having to stage a big comeback he knocked it off last week done it with great frequency over the years and over the course of our shows. Peter right now is struggling with his first ball. Gets a 10, 85 through eight. Remember, Peter carried in a 17 pin lead from the first two strings. Tom's gonna try to slide that right through the seven pin. Gets it with the ball. Stare in the seventh. He's at 80 plus. Come on, work in there. 80 plus six. So he's down now by six. He'll be down by at least six with two to go. Down by uh, seven with two boxes left. So once again, Tom brings it to the wire. And Peter's going to make it tough here. Last week, Tom went into the final two needing... 23 pins to tie. You'll need a little bit more than that. Not quite as many more as Peter would have liked. Misses the spare, misses again, and takes a nine. better and now he's got some wood to help him with the 10 pin Let's see if it snuggles up there nice and tight he's got it Oh, the squeeze is really on Tom Olsen now as Peter gets the spare. He's at 104 plus. Oh. 
but not a big fill. 104 plus 3. 107. So Tommy needs 29. He's on his way. There's one mark. He's get 10 out of the way. And again, he needs 29 to tie. 30 to win. And only two on the spare. So he needs another mark. He doesn't get it. Peter Flynn takes a real deep breath. As for once, Tom Osa cannot come through with the thin hit after getting the spare that he needed. He just couldn't quite finish it off. So we'll take a look at the totals in the third string here. Tom Olster finishes up with a 116. Peter Flynn with a 107. Not big scores, but a lot of fun nonetheless as it came down to the final box. So we'll add him up. Our new champion, Peter Flynn, with a 361. And Tom Olster, our three-time champion that we now say goodbye to, a 353.